ready to begin. I'm going to ask all of you to turn your cell phones off or to mute them, please. And as I mentioned before, that the field is dedicated to our faculty and our students. I'm also going to ask you at this point, would you please rise? <laughs>
please remain standing for the invocation led by Dr. Craig McMahon, University Minister, Dean of Chapel, and Director of the Mercer on Mission Program. Let me pray together, please. Our first words to you, O oh God, on this graduation morning are words of gratitude. They rise from this great stadium as with one voice, thanking you for bringing us all to this sacred moment to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2019. Looking back, we can see that it was your loving purpose and guiding hand that brought these students here and put them on this journey of exploring the world and discovering themselves. They have pushed back against the darkness of ignorance with the light of understanding. They have pushed forward the boundaries of knowledge through research and imagination. They have learned to build bridges of trust and respect across ever-widening chasms of suspicion and intolerance. They have gained the confidence in the talents and passions that you have given them and are finding ways to use these gifts to serve others. And so receive our gratitude for each of these students and the hopeful promise that lies in their heart and hands as they launch out to make a difference in the world that you so love. We offer our gratitude also for their loved ones who had the desire and determination to support them and the grace to let them go in pursuit of their dreams. These students who will walk across this platform in a few moments lead an invisible parade of family and friends behind them who have made untold sacrifices and offered tireless encouragement all along this incredible journey. And finally, O oh God, we express our gratitude for Mercer University, envisioned and established by Jesse Mercer and a handful of Baptist ministers who believe that we owe it to our Creator to love God not only with our heart and soul, but also with our minds, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We are grateful for our leaders who keep that vision alive and flourishing. We are grateful for the dedicated faculty who inspire the quest for answers and ignite the curiosity for even better questions. We are grateful for those countless members of this community whose contributions are often unrecognized, but without whom this day would not happen. And so, O oh Lord, on this graduation day, receive these words of gratitude, the praise of our lips, and the thankfulness of our hearts. For it is in your holy name that we pray. Amen. Please be seated. On behalf of the nearly 9,000 students, almost 1,500 faculty and staff from among 12 schools and colleges, and nearly 90,000 living alumni of the university, I'm pleased to welcome you to the 182nd commencement of Mercer University. This is our first outdoor commencement in 50 years, and it's a magnificent day to celebrate the achievement of students graduating from our seven Macon-based undergraduate programs. The accomplishments of these graduates would not have been possible without the commitment to student success and achievement of our magnificent faculties. I now invite members of the faculties of Mercer University to stand and be recognized. This large gathering of family and friends reminds us that the accomplishments being recognized today did not occur alone. So I invite the graduates to look around and see the best evidence that the road to human achievement is rarely a solitary journey. Your graduation today is possible because so many of these people believed in you and cared about you. Your accomplishments are also testimony to the vision and leadership of the men and women who have created and shaped this great university over the past 186 years. Founded in 1833 in Penfield, Georgia by Baptist preachers who recognized the need for educated leaders for communities throughout this region, Mercer University today prepares leaders for communities throughout the world in its 12 schools and colleges. You've been able to accomplish your dreams and ambitions as graduates because you stand on the shoulders of generations of teachers and students, contributors and leaders 
who have come before you. We are particularly pleased today to have with us representatives of the Mercer class of 1969, including the class president, John Winkle. These members of the 50-year club have processed in with our students and faculty, and I now ask them to stand and be recognized. Commencement has a way of confirming our value and heritage as a university. In the final analysis, we measure the worth of what we are doing by your good work and by your labors, by the friends you make, the families you build, the values you embrace, the children you bear, the hope that you engender, and the legacy that you too will leave. Again, we offer a special word of welcome to the guests who are with us. We honor the important and cherished role that you've played in the lives of our graduates, and we thank you for your continued support and encouragement of them. Your very presence here today is indeed a high tribute to those who are graduating. It is my privilege at this time to introduce the chair of Mercer University's Board of Trustees, Kathy Calloway Adams. Ms. Adams recently retired as Executive Vice President and Chief Operations Officer for the Federal Home Loan Bank of Atlanta, where she served for 32 years, making contributions in the areas of shareholder financial operations, property manage, diversity and inclusion, and community engagement. She is also an accomplished pianist who has recorded and performed internationally with the Georgia Festival Chorus. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Adams. Well, good morning, Bears and Bear Nation. It's early, it's somewhat cool, and it's not raining. It's a perfect day for an outdoor commencement exercise and a perfect day to celebrate these 745 graduates of Mercer University. Dear old graduates, today it's all about you. It's because of you that we are here. So by the end of this morning, you should be prepared to be celebrated congratulated, and graduated. This morning I bring to you all greetings from the Mercer University Board of Trustees and the board congratulates these seniors who are the stars of the show today. We also salute the families and friends and loved ones of this class who are here today along with faculty, administration, and Mercer alumni. Many of you family members are here today as the result of enormous sacrifice. For some, that sacrifice may be the long-term investment of your own resources, putting your own dreams and plans on hold so that you can invest in the future of a family member or loved one. We extend to you our profound gratitude for that, both for your steadfast belief in your graduate and your belief in Mercer University. Thank you. And now to the class of 2019. When you entered Mercer University back in 2015, you were the strongest class academically to ever enter this university. Your collective, your collective SAT scores and high school GPAs set a record for being the highest in the history of this school. Wow. You started out strong and you are finishing even stronger. In addition to your academic, artistic, athletic, scientific, musical, and creative successes, your active participation in Mercer's signature service program, Mercer on Mission, has been extraordinary. Do you know those banners that canopy over your heads every day as you walk around campus? Those banners that talk about everyone majoring in changing the world? Well, your class already had a head start when you joined us here at Mercer. And now as you exit, you are even better equipped to carry on this quest. Changing the world is no small task. More often than not, it's just hard to do. 
And so I feel like I owe you a truthful public service announcement about life on the other side of college graduation. Sometimes it really stinks and things just don't go well. Our fellow humans will not always conform to our best and highest ideals of how they should behave. At times we are confused and the next right thing is not always clear. Sometimes we make bad choices. Sometimes we're careless and selfish. We trust the wrong information or the wrong person. We don't trust ourselves enough. We lean in when we should have leaned out. We stand up when we should have stood down. We will have good intentions, but sometimes there's a gap between our intentions and our impact, and sometimes with disastrous results. There will be times when we simply fail. What then? I have failed at many things many times, so therefore I'm very qualified to speak to you about failure and what then. Failure is not on the top three of upbeat commencements topics, but there are some things that I've learned that I wish I'd known sooner, and here are three of them. Lesson number one that I've learned from failure is grace. Just that word, grace. Keep that word top of mind for the rest of your life, whatever grace means to you. To me, it is unmerited favor, it's mercy and love, it's an enabling power that heals and restores its empathy and emotional intelligence. Back in my 20s, I had a dream job and it started out great, but within a year it wasn't so great. I failed at some important parts of that job and I probably should have been fired, but I didn't get fired, it was worse. I got demoted. If you're unfamiliar with this concept of demotion, it's the opposite of promotion. It's when your job gets taken away, but you still have to come back every day to the same organization and do a different lower level job. For me, my demotion was public, it was humiliating, and it shattered the self-confidence that I had accumulated during that year. When my boss called me on a Friday afternoon to demote me, here's what he said. Kathy, when you come in on Monday, you will no longer have the same job. The job you have now belongs to another person. Her name is Sherry. You will now report to Sherry. Sherry will be sitting at your desk. So on Monday morning, I made that very public walk of shame to my desk, carrying this heavy burden of fear, anxiety, and failure. And then here is what happened next. When I got there, this person who I had never met, my new boss, sitting at my desk, now doing my job, Sherry, she stood up, she looked at me, and she held out her arms like this. You must be Kathy. I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to need your help. We've got so much to do, and it's going to be fun. I was completely stunned. This was an extraordinary act of grace by Sherry, whether she knew it or not. And in that moment, I vowed to myself to become the kind of person who grants grace to other people, even when I don't have all the facts, to give people the benefit of the doubt, to assume that people show up with good intentions and want to do well. I have learned without fail that the people around you, regardless of their field or discipline, will do their very best work when they are working within an environment of grace rather than fear. Wherever you go, create an environment of grace. Lesson number two, ask for help. So simple, but so hard to do. Even if you aren't sure you need help, sometimes you should just ask for it because you probably do need it and don't know it. And when you ask for it, be quiet and listen. When Sherry, my new boss, held out her arms and asked for my help, my broken sense of who I was and what I had to offer was restored. By asking me for help, she made me feel more valuable and more capable. 
I have been amazed at the people who will enthusiastically participate in our vision, our mission, and our purpose if we only but ask for their help. Invite people in, listen to their ideas. Life is a team sport and you are a lucky beneficiary of a worldwide team of Mercer Bears to help and support you. Your Mercer diploma is like a passport that connects you with Mercer alumni and colleagues all over the world. The entire Mercer Bear community is supporting you and cheering for you. Do not leave this benefit on the table untapped. Ask for help and give help as often as you can. And finally, lesson three for my demotion. Failure equals learning. Failure is fuel. Failure is a catalyst for learning. Squeeze every possible thing you can from your failures. Failures do not define your brand nor your character, but what you do with failure does reveal your character. It shows yourself and others who you really are. That new boss, Sherry, I learned more from her in the four years that I worked with her than I could have ever thought possible. As soon as I figured out that she had a lot of skills that I was missing, I asked her to teach me everything she knew. She did, and it worked. And isn't learning what we are here to do for the rest of our lives? The thirst for learning is what brought you here today. That same thirst will continue to propel you forward toward your dreams. In his book, The Once and Future King, which is about the legend of King Arthur and Camelot, author T.H. White has a beautiful passage from the character Merlin. Now you'll remember Merlin is the wise counselor to King Arthur. And Merlin has given Arthur a pep talk after a very uh, destructive and defeating battle. These are Merlin's words. The best thing for being sad, replied Merlin, is to learn something. That is the only thing that never fails. Your body may grow old and trembling. You may miss your one true love. You may see the world around you devastated by lo evil lunatics or know your honor trampled in the sewers of baser minds. There is only one thing for it then, to learn. Learn why the world wags and what wags it. That is the only thing which the mind can never exhaust, never alienate, never be tortured by, never fear or distrust, and never dream of regretting. Learning is the thing for you. So these three lessons I carry from one of my earliest failures. Give grace often and generously. Ask for help. Give help when you can. Turn your failures into learning, which is the point of most everything. Well, today is quite a big day, and when you look around, it's pretty obvious that something significant is happening today because there's so much pomp and circumstance and ceremony. But what about those big moments that are going to happen when there's no fanfare, no fireworks, no confetti? How can we be certain not to miss these moments? Like the moments when you're seated at the bedside holding the hand of your grandmother as she slips away from you, or wiping the sweat off your face as you test the water one more time to make sure it's safe to drink or being alone in the practice room and finally mastering that difficult passage, or answering the call from your friend who is discouraged just so you can sit and be present with him while his spirit is broken and he doesn't know what to do next. These are all big moments too. They matter greatly. Pay attention. Don't miss them. Albert Einstein said there are two ways to live as if nothing is a miracle or as if everything is a miracle. To the Mercer University class of 2019, my challenge to you is that you will continue valiantly in your quest to change the world and that you will live as if everything is a miracle. Miracles of everyday kindness and grace and empathy, miracles of asking for help and receiving help, miracles of discovering serendipitous connections with your beloved Mercer community, and miracles of turning the bitter water of failure into the rich wine of learning. Mercer has instilled in you that special miraculous bare DNA of service and empathy and vision and imagination and perseverance that sets you apart from all the non-bears. This world needs more bears. Mercer has helped equip you to live the life you dream. 
dream big, work hard, good things will happen. Well done, class of 2019. Go Bears. Thank you, Kathy. Our special music is presented by Keone Bolding, violinist, and Atticus Miller Goldman, cellist. Both are graduating today from Mercer's Townsend School of Music with a Bachelor of Music degree in performance.
Thank you, gentlemen. Keone and Atticus are graduating today from the finest undergraduate strings program in the United States. One is going on to a graduate school at Juilliard, the other graduate school at Yale. It won't be Mercer, but congratulations, guys. Three years ago, we began a new tradition of inviting a member of the graduating class chosen by a committee of faculty and graduating seniors to address the graduating class. I now invite Dr. Scott Davis, provost of the university, to introduce today's student speaker. Thank you, President Underwood. As the president stated, a faculty and student committee chooses the commencement speaker for the making ceremony and this year, the committee chose Dorian Kithcart. Dorian, come on. <laughs> Dorian knows Five Star Stadium quite well, having been a member of the Mercer football team since 2015 and the starting nose guard for all three years. He made the 2016 freshman All-SOCON team and the SOCON All-Academic team for 2016, 17, and 18. And Dorian excels not only on the football field, but in the classroom. Dorian's an engineering major with a specialization in mechanical engineering. He earns his bachelor's degree today and is currently enrolled in the integrated four plus one program where he will return next year to earn his master's degree in engineering. Dorian was born and raised in Durham, North Carolina, but he and his family now reside in Norcross. He is the brother and mentor to seven siblings. I now present to you our commencement speaker, Dorian T. Kithcart. How y'all doing out there? Uh, y'all can hear me? Okay, before I get started, um, I've seen people, this is my first time doing public speaking, but I've seen people have a tradition of taking pictures with the graduating class. So if you all would like to take a selfie with me real quick before I get started, I truly appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Let me get my camera working. Y'all can stand up if you want to, you know, you know. <laughs> I get people to uh... All right. <laughs> All right. Good morning. I hope that every mother, grandmother, and great grandmother had a happy Mother's Day that was showered with love and appreciation. Today, your loved one will present you with a gift unlike any other as they walk across the stage today and receive their degree and diploma. A document that, rep that represents the amount of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice made throughout the last four to seven years here at Mercer. This celebration is a monumental moment that you all will carry on with you for the rest of your life. And it is my pleasure to welcome our faculty, staff, distinguished guests, award recipients, family members, and most importantly, the class of 2019 to Mercer University's 2019 spring commencement here in Macon, Georgia on this Monday morning. My name is Dorian Kithcart, and I'm a student athlete here at Mercer University. I'm excited to say that I'll be continuing this oncoming semester to complete my master's degree by next spring. I'm also a member of Mercer University's Division I football program, where I've had the opportunity to compete at the highest level within the Southern Conference, as well as the likes of Auburn, Alabama, and Georgia Tech. As a starting defensive tackle, my daily job is to make the offensive lineman's day miserable. Wreck havoc in the backfield, and occasionally carry the rock for 60-yard touchdowns, like my man Chandler Curtis. <laughs> but, however, my defensive coordinator, Coach Mike Adams, loves to say that as a de defensive lineman, you have to be elite. But what does it mean to be elite? Everyone here today has the opportunity to be elite. And in this case, being elite means being the biggest, baddest person in the room. When you walk in the room, people know what's up. When you walk down the halls or around campus, you walk with your head high, your chest puffed out, and a little swag in your stuff. You own the room everywhere you go. 
People recognize from the start that you're about business and you set an example for not only yourself, but also people connected to you. There's an old saying that I constantly heard growing up in Durham, North Carolina. It says, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. When I first heard this, I was at a point in my life when I was like, no, nah, my dog's gonna be with me forever. Bad boys for life. <laughs> However, but as each year passed, my circle kept getting smaller and smaller. Some of the friends you had uh, freshman year, you don't have now. Some of the relationships you had are gone. And some of the people back at home you had to cut off. But change is good. Sometimes when, when I, bet. I, learned after, <laughs> I learned after losing uh, three straight games of Uno to my t uh, roommate, Sidney Otigo, this year, that sometimes you have to be like, hold up, I'm going to shove the cards this time around just to give yourself a different start, even though you may end up with the same um, deck. My defensive line coach, Jeremy Hawkins, goes further and says, we can't change the cards that we are dealt, just how we play them. Life is like this. Sometimes you must shuffle your own life in order to create change, realizing there's another opportunity for you to win. This change can create heartbreak, pain, frustration, and adversity out of change. But out of this change, you can also see stories of hard work, perseverance, and triumph. Overcoming the odds, the ones that were stacked up against you, the ones presented to you currently, and the odds that will be stacked up to you against you in the future. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Whatever you're going through in life right now, know that he has a plan for you. There's nothing too big for God. Your battles are your battles for a reason. Today, I'm in a very given mood, and I brought with me something for, the, for everyone in the audience. And good news, is free. You know, I like free stuff too. <laughs> All right. Today, I'm going to give you some tools that I've acquired throughout my life and my time here at Mercer to go into your toolbox that you can lean on and utilize moving forward after your journey at Mercer comes to an end. Number one, what is your why? And I'm going to say this again. What is your why? And what I mean by that is, what is the reason you wake up every morning and do what you do? Who do you do it for? And who inspires you to be the best that you can be? One thing I've learned about having a why is that your why can grow and change as you do. Your why can be those great professors that you cared about, that cared about you as a student and as a person, such as Dr. Sini, Dr. Hartfield, and even my guy, Dr. Hill. It can be those group of friends who you spent all night in Tarver or the ARC with to finish assignments just so you can go downtown and tear up the streets of making on the weekends. <laughs> While also continuing to challenge you and support your goals and aspirations as a friend. Your why could be people close to you or circumstances that you overcame to get to this moment. For me, my why is my family. I grew up in a small town in Durham, North Carolina, raised by a single mother and grandmother who had recently lost her father years prior. They would do anything for me and my siblings. They sacrificed so much time and effort to put food on the table and make sure me and my brothers and sisters didn't see the struggle that we were going through. I remember my mother's sleepless nights and early mornings when I was a teen after she lost her job to a company not wide layoff. I remember the nights of crying as bills began to pile up and no jobs were calling. To them, I owe everything. My father came into my life when I was five, and today I realize it was one of the biggest blessings I've received in my life. He became my guy, my mentor, my friend, and most importantly, my father. I gained seven siblings throughout my years, and being the oldest of eight is a lot to place on a kid. You have to be the role model they look up to, the protector and comforter in times of struggle, the one they can call to and talk to about their days at school, or the one that they ask to do something after mom and dad already told them no. <laughs> I've also seen the impact of peer pressure, gangs, and, drug and gun violence on some of my close friends who couldn't make it to this moment today. Um, not everyone had the same opportunities I had, but when I wake up at that five o'clock alarm every morning, I realize that I'm, what I'm doing right now is bigger than me. It's for my family, my teammates, my friends, and for people from my city who can live out their dreams through the work I'm doing here today. So go find your why and set it as your daily reminder for when times get tough, you can think back to this person or situation as motivation to keep fighting on. 
Second, do what you love and love what you do. My teammate Eric Jackson told me, when you're doing what you love, you won't work a day in your life. You have to be passionate about the things you're about to do moving forward in life. The more passionate you are about something, the more you're willing to lay everything you have inside of you on the line. It has to drive you, just like your why. Growing up, being placed in the gifted program early on, school came natural to me. Outside the classroom, I loved playing video games and basketball. As a kid, I thought I was a baby shack. I had the post game down, streaky left hand jump shot, and no one could touch me in NBA Street Volume 2 on GameCube. <laughs> However, when I picked up the game of football in seventh grade, thanks to Coach Waldo Rogers at Lowe's Grove Middle School, I finally found something outside the classroom that I was truly passionate about. I found my ticket out of my small town. I found my home away from home in football. On that field, I felt like the baddest man on the planet. I felt like all worries were cast away and all my problems at home and school seemed to vanish when I was on the field running around tackling people. I used the game that I love to get me places where I didn't know I could go. The, my passion for football increased my passion for education, and the two grew into 30 Division I scholarships, where I could continue my education, laying the foundation for my family's future, and chase the dreams of playing professional football. Mercer provided me the opportunity to do both. Every time I stepped on this campus, I got the vibe that this place was special. From the people I met to the vast amount of opportunities within community service, education, and other research opportunities, I felt like this was the place that I needed to be in order to make the impact I wanted to on life. The great Langston Hughes said, hold fast to your dreams, for if they die, life is like a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Continue to dream big. Surround yourself with people who support your dream. There is no room for dream killers in our circle and put in the hard work it takes to make sure that your dream becomes a reality. Growing up, I used to constantly play a song by Nas called I Can. And if you know the song, help me out. If you don't, you can just repeat after me. He goes to say, I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. Beat, beat, boys and girls, listen up. You can be anything in the world and God we trust. An architect, doctor, or maybe an actress, but nothing comes easy. No, it takes practice, huh? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to stop myself for a moment. <laughs> so, whatever you want to do in life, do that, and do it with all your heart, so that in 40 years, when it's time for you to kick back on that beach with your loved one, you can know that all the hard work you've done so far has paid off, and you've done it for the thing that you've loved. Number three, don't fear failure. One of my teammates back in high school, DeAndre Planning, tweeted, rock bottom will teach you lessons the mountaintop never could. I'm going to repeat that again. Rock bottom would teach you lessons the mountaintop never could. When I read his post on Twitter, I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> uh, everyone in the audience today has failed at some point in their life. Failed in the class, failed at a job, relationship, or as a leader. And I know some people in Dr. Hill's thermal system class last weekend had that feeling walking out that final too. <laughs> You felt as though you may have let yourself down, as well as the people around you. But failure shouldn't be feared. The path to success isn't the slope of a linear function. There are numerous twists and turns on the path to success. However, the difference in each personal experience with failure is how you perceive it and how you respond to it. You have to embrace the, le embrace the lessons that come with it. If you never knew what it was like to fall down, you wouldn't know how to get yourself back up. When you're on top of the mountain, everyone is there to cheer you on. You'll see, people, you'll see people who you haven't seen in forever show up out of nowhere just to root for you. Your haters became your motivators. And today, they're your cheerleaders. <laughs> Son of men stands today. <laughs> However, when you fall to rock bottom, 
there will only be a few people who will be willing to climb down there with you to help bring you back up out of your situation. When you hit the bottom, your entire perspective changes. You will consider ways you could have done better. You will also see the minute details that you glanced over the first time. And you'll learn how mentally tough you are and how bad you really want to get back to the top. So as the late, great R&B singer Aaliyah would say, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. <laughs> That's for my, for my people in the back in the 90s. <laughs> 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 Lastly, sign your work. In my defensive line room, we have a new sign that boldly states, sign your work. Everyone in the stadium has a signature that is unique and authentic. Your signature means something. It's how you present yourself to the world and how you finalize work. When you sign something, you're signing something you believe in. What it means to sign your work in life is to be able to come home at the end of the day, sit back, and review everything you've done and ask yourself these questions. Can you truly say that you've given it your all? All that you've done with the best opportunities that you presented to that day. Can you sign your work for the entire world to see? Can you be proud of the work that you've done and say, yeah, I did that? We came to this university four years ago with big dreams to make a difference in our lives and the lives of others. Here at Mercer, we major in changing the world. You put the work in becoming pioneers of innovation, influencers in the making community, serving leaders within the student body, and mentors to our youth. You become that positive charge in someone's life. And I challenge you to continue expanding your reach. Expand beyond what you can see. Go out, meet new people, develop new bonds, inspire a generation of future leaders, and cultivate a strong network that can last you a lifetime. Don't be, don't be afraid to start the conversation in the room. Have confidence in yourself at all times. You are your biggest fan, and it's up to you as to how many more people will become fans of yours as well. You'll never know who you'll meet and who you'll influence or how they may change your life forever. So always put your best foot forward. Move with a purpose. There's a saying that still holds true to this day. It's not always about what you know, but about who you know. It's been said that our environment influences us in some way. In every environment that I've been in, I've taken something with me along the way. And after these four long years here at Mercer, I hope that you've taken something along the way that you can carry on to the next generation. Every decision we make moving forward will impact and leave a lasting mark on our future. So, so far today, I've challenged you to, all go, to go find your why, do what you're passionate about, have confidence in yourself to take big leaps of faith, expand your reach within your family, community, and profession, and lastly, to give your best, your absolute best every single time. So today, I hope after your journey at Mercer comes to an end, you can without a doubt sign your work, collect your degree, and yell to the top of your lungs, I did that. Thank you all for having me as your student speaker. It's truly been an honor. Much blessing to you all in the future. Thank you, Dorian. I noticed the uh, parents weren't singing along with you. They, they must have lost their voice today. Um, Dorian promised me uh, a couple of days ago that the football team was going to go undefeated this year, including uh, a win over North Carolina at Chapel Hill on Thanksgiving weekend. So, uh, so I'm confident you're going to get that done. It's now my pleasure to present the university award that recognizes an extraordinary teacher and mentor chosen from among Mercer's 12 schools and colleges, the Joe and Jean Hendricks Excellence in Teaching Award. 
This award is named for two of Mercer's greatest teachers, Joe Hendricks and his sister Jean, are both legendary at Mercer for their dedication to students and for their ability to engage students in transformative learning and discovery. I now ask Dr. Andy Dye to join me at the podium. Today we honor Dr. Andy Dye as the recipient of the Joe and Jean Hendricks Excellence in Teaching Award for 2019. Dr. Dye is an associate professor of computer science and serves as director of the Integrative Studies General Education Program in the College of Liberal Arts. Since arriving at Mercer in 1998, his passion for teaching reflected an active environment where students work with, think about, and practice new concepts. Enthusiasm is his hallmark as he models the joy of learning by de-emphasizing competition in favor of collaboration. Dr. Dye views teaching as one of the great professions on this earth. In his words, it is not only about subject matter though, it is about mentoring and helping students become successful professionals as well as good citizens. It is about those wonderful conversations you can have with them outside of class about what they believe. It's about giving them the tools to always continue learning, growing, and striving to become fully human. Dr. Andrew Dye, you are a worthy inheritor of the mantle of inspiring teaching, caring, mentoring, and liberating learning that Joe and Jean Hendricks have given us. In recognition of your service, it is my privilege to hereby present to you the Joe and Jean Hendricks Excellence in Teaching Award. At this time, I would like to call on Dr. Douglas Pearson, Vice President and Dean of Students, who will recognize the undergraduate student award recipients. Academics, service, and leadership are all important to a Mercer education. Each year, a campus-wide committee of faculty and staff representing the 12 academic colleges, identifies outstanding students who share the values of intellectual excellence, commitment to service, and leadership. Two students will be recognized during this ceremony. They are imbued with a deep commitment to service and are equipped with exceptional leadership skills. The details of each of their accomplishments can be found in the commencement program. Mr. Brian Parker Lau, will you please stand? The Louis D. Newton General Excellence Medal is presented to the graduating student who best exemplifies personal integrity and character, service to the campus community, and a commitment to spiritual values. The medal also emphasizes academics and a general love of learning. This year's recipient of the Louis D. Newton General Excellence Medal is a student with a perfect 4.0 GPA who is graduating from the School of Engineering specializing in mechanical engineering. In addition to his academic successes, Mr. Lau has been active on campus, in the local community, and across segments of the world, serving as a leader and working alongside others on projects that change lives and communities. I present to you this outstanding student, Mr. Brian Parker Lau. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Lau in this worthy accomplishment. Ms. Elisa Gouda, would you please stand? The Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award is presented to the graduating student who best exemplifies excellence in character, leadership, service to the community, and a commitment to spiritual values. This year's recipient of the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award is another student with a perfect 4.0 GPA who is graduating from the College of Liberal Arts double majoring in political science and psychology. 
Through her studies and community involvement, she has become a domestic and international advocate for people experiencing intimate partner violence. I present to you this outstanding student, Ms. Eliza Gouda. Please join me in congratulating Ms. Gouda on this worthy accomplishment. Dean Anita Gustafson will now present the candidates for degrees from the College of Liberal Arts. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degree from the College of Liberal Arts. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Health Science. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the College of Liberal Arts, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you, according to your program of study, the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Health Sciences. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Dean Susan Gilbert will now present the candidates for degrees from the Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from the Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Business Administration please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you according to your program of study, the degrees Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations to each of you. Will the candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I request that you confer upon them the degree Master of Business Administration. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Business Administration. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Dean Laura Lackey will now present the candidates for degrees from the School of Engineering. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from the School of Engineering. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Engineering. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the School of Engineering, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you, 
according to your program of study, the degrees Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Master of Science, Master of Science in Engineering. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the School of Engineering, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University. It is my privilege to hereby confer upon you, according to your program of study, the degrees Master of Science and Master of Science in Engineering. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Associate Dean Kelly Reffitt will now present the candidates for degrees from the Tift College of Education. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from the Tift College of Education. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Education degree please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them the degree Bachelor of Science in Education. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and Faculty of the Tift College of Education, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you the degree Bachelor of Science in Education. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them the degrees of Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the Tift College of Education, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you, according to your program of study, the degrees Master of Arts in Teaching and Master of Education. Congratulations to each of you. Dean Priscilla Danhauser will now present the candidates for degrees from Penfield College of Mercer University. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from Penfield College of Mercer University. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand and remain standing? Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Science in Social Science. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty, approved by the Board of Trustees, and I now request that you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of Penfield College, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Mercer University, I hereby confer upon you, according to your program of study, the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, and Bachelor of Science in Social Science. Congratulations to each of you. Will the candidates for the Master of Science degree please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them the degree of Master of Science. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and the faculty of Penfield College and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it's my privilege to hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Science. 
Congratulations to each of you. <laughs> Dean David Keith will now present the candidates for degrees from the Townsend School of Music. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from the Townsend School of Music. Will the candidates for the following degrees please stand? Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Music Education. These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them these degrees. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the Townsend School of Music, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University. It is my privilege to hereby confer upon you, according to your program of study, the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, and Bachelor of Music Education. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Master of Music degree please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them the degree Master of Music. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the Townsend School of Music and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you the degree Master of Music. Congratulations to each of you. <laughs> Dean Lisa Lundquist will now present the candidates for degrees from the College of Health Professions. President Underwood, I have the honor to present the candidates for degrees from the College of Health Professions. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please stand? These candidates have been recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I now request that you confer upon them this degree. Upon the recommendation of the Dean and faculty of the College of Health Professions, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University, it is my privilege to hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degree. Congratulations to each of you. Would all the graduates please stand. When you began your college career at Mercer, we challenged you to be the bear. You heard it in orientation, we wrote it on bright orange signs, we hung them all over campus. The ones that challenged you to major in changing the world regardless of your chosen field of study. But we never directly told you what it means to be the bear. I think you figured it out. When you helped a local elementary student learn to read, you were the bear. When you traveled to the Valley of Elah in Auburn, Alabama and knocked the Goliaths of the SEC West on their heels, we were the bears that day. When you fit a Vietnamese farmer with a new leg enabling him to turn, return to work, you were the bear. When you painted Asheville orange while advancing to the big dance, you were the bear that day. When you earned appointments to the Peace Corps or a Fulbright or Hollings or Boren scholarship to teach or a Goldwater to do research, you were the bear then. Anyway, I could go up and down the rows, I could go on like this all day, but I think you get the idea. Whenever you've fearlessly competed against the best, you've been the bear. Whenever you've called on all that you are and can be to meet the challenge before you, you've been the bear. Whenever you've marshaled the best within you to make a positive difference in the lives of others, you've been the bear. 
when you leave this place, you'll spread out around the globe. Some of you will even spread out here in Macon. But wherever your journey takes you next, you've all majored in changing the world. So as you commence your life beyond us, go out there and be the bear. So I think this is an appropriate time to invite the family and friends and teachers here assembled to salute this uh, great graduating class. You may be seated. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, in a moment, we will begin awarding the diplomas to the graduates. It's surely the moment that we've all gathered here to witness your son, your daughter, your spouse, your friend walking across the stage with diploma in hand. It is a joyous occasion, but it's also one that calls for proper respect and decorum that appropriately reflects the importance of this major milestone in the lives of these graduates. So on behalf of these graduates in the university, I ask you to do something that will be uh, very difficult. It will call upon all of your self-discipline to accomplish this. I'm going to ask that you hold your applause and refrain from other forms of creative celebratory outburst, <laughs> whatever you thought of until all the names have been read. And here's why I'm asking you to do this. One, I want to make sure that every family can hear the name of their graduate when that name is called. And while you're hooping and hollering, the person next to you might miss the name of their graduate. And I don't want that to happen. Number two, I think these are significant high degrees that reflect many years of labor. And I want them to receive these degrees in a setting that is truly befitting this significant high occasion. And finally, I want everyone's attention focused on the graduate as he or she crosses the stage rather than drawn to us. Having order and decorum underscores the respect that these students have earned in completing their studies and receiving their diplomas. So we appreciate your cooperation in making this event a tribute to the hard work and efforts of these graduates through your respectful observance. A professional photographer will take both candid and posed photographs of each graduate as the diploma is received. There's also an area to my right where you can take a picture of your graduate we ask that you please return to your seat after you take the photo to give others an opportunity to use this space. If you're sitting over here and your graduate's high on the list, you might want to start moving now. Dr. Gary Richardson, University Marshal and Professor of English in the College of Liberal Arts, will now conduct the graduates to the platform. Dr. Edward Weintraut, Professor of Foreign Languages and Literatures in the College of Liberal Arts, will read the names of the graduates.
Fawcett. Okay, the College of Liberal Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Thais Kayla Ackerman, cum laude. Tiffany Elise Alexandra, cum laude. Madison Page Allen, summa cum laude. Vanessa Yanali Alva, cum laude. Tamara Monet Andrews. Jessica Ryan Argeropoulos. Katie Elizabeth Atkinson, cum laude. Marla Elizabeth Atkinson, magna cum laude. Maria Stravkova Avroma, magna cum laude and university honors. Kijani Luis Ayala Rosado. Kristen Ashley Black, cum laude. Naomi Estelle Black, cum laude. Donald Ray Blankenship III. Madeline Noel Bobo, summa cum laude and university honors. Angela Yvonne Bonds. Kiana Mulika Boone. Rebecca Brown, summa cum laude. Mara Makana Brumba. Sahara Jade Aldilia Bryant. Lauren Allison Bice, summa cum laude. Rodriguez Rashan Bondridge. Christopher Maxwell Burgess. Connor Charles Cable. Lauren Elaine Cajano, magna cum laude. Dylan Drew Calhoun. Sybil J. Calise. Elisha Stewart Campbell. Matthew Reed Causey. Kelly Michelle Cavanis, cum laude. Faith Muchia Cheng. Grant Joseph Childress II. Oliver Savino Clark. Hannah Lawson Colquitt, summa cum laude. Marvin Conrad. Rosemary Alana Cooper. Rachel Ann Copeland. Chandler D. Curtis. Madison Ann Curtis, cum laude. Alexandria Grace Davis, summa cum laude. Avery Ann Davis, magna cum laude. Alan Leroy De Leon. Jackson Armstrong Dillard. Sarah Donnelly, summa cum laude. Megan Lee Duffy. Summa cum laude and university honors. Elizabeth Ann Durham, summa cum laude and university honors. Keelan Gregory Edwards. Brianna Jackie Ellis. John Henry Forrester. Kaylee Reed Fox. Summa cum laude and university honors. Stephen McKinley Galloway, magna cum laude. Samantha Lowell Godwin, magna cum laude. Jordan Danielle Graham. Ashley Nicole Green. 
Noemi Oriana Griffin, cum laude. Elisa Gouda, summa cum laude and university honors. Claire Lorraine Hammond, magna cum laude. Ali Carmen Hanna, cum laude. Devin Chanel Harad, summa cum laude and university honors. Brittany Jessica Harvey, summa cum laude. Marley Lacoste Hayes. Adelia Elaine Henderson, magna cum laude. Arlette Lorena Hernandez. Benjamin Jesus Hernandez. Paige Brianna Hill. Jadrian Christopher Hinson. Stephen Damonte Hauser. Haley Jenna Hudson, cum laude. George William Humphreys. Laurel Ann Huster, magna cum laude. Christian Xavier Ingram. Mitchum John Jogstetter, cum laude. Taylor Bacchus Johnston. Kara Michelle Jordan. Tyler Jonathan Kahali. Hannah Renee Keller, summa cum laude. Ian Thomas Kessler. Corey Malvin Kilby. Alexandra Renee Kirschbaum, magna cum laude. Griffin Clay Kish. Anna Christine Lee. Christopher Michael Lee. Ashton Monica Levery. Kaylin D. Long, cum laude and university honors. Daniel Lopez, cum laude. Joshua Ray Lustenberger. Dylan Alexa Malamala. Cassandra Danielle Malcolm. Kaylee Lynn Martin. Michael Richard Matthews. Hopeton Mattis. Mackenzie Brooke MacArthur. Leela Francis McIntosh, cum laude. Austin Todd McMickle. Caitlin Olivia Meeks, summa cum laude. Ashley Nicole Melugin. Devin R. Mode, magna cum laude. Jayla Celine Moody, magna cum laude and university honors. Jordan Aliyah Moore. Madison Chase Moore. Cody Alexander Moran, summa cum laude. Madison Bailey Miller. Kyle Christian Mullins. Cum laude. April Victoria Myerskoff, summa cum laude and university honors. Julia Lynn Nazarian, magna cum laude and university honors. Ryan Mark Neal. Ange Francine Fancu Vilonga. Vil Bailey Nicole Knowles, magna cum laude. Madison Christine O'Donnell. Shenenwa Rosart Onungwa. Cassie Nicole Outler, cum laude. Elizabeth Lynn Parker, summa cum laude and university honors. Julia Marie Partain, 
Magna Cum Laude, Bansari Paresh Patel, Karen Ajay Patel, Evan Avery Penny, Summer Lind Perret, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors, Emily Susan Poole, Summa Cum Laude, Brenda T. Kwan, Hoor Asim Qureshi, Magna Cum Laude, Audrey Claire Robertson, Cum Laude, Addison I. Robinson, Cum Laude, Teresa Marie Romeo, Megan Elizabeth Rosinko, Cum Laude and University Honors, Emily Elizabeth Rowell, Hayes Ousley Rule, Summa Cum Laude, Abigail Lee Ryan, Mallory Lane Sammons, Cum Laude, Austin Oglesby Sanders, Edward Austin Shakel, Ann Carson Scott, Marcus Antoine Shaw, Bria Nicole Lindsay Smith, Cole Anthony Smith, Magna Cum Laude, Mackenzie Ann Smith, Julia Catherine Steffen, Monica Leslie Stephenson, Magna Cum Laude, Chelsea Alyssa Stone, Jalen Malik Stowe, Soraya Gwendolyn Stewart, Catherine Hobby Summerford, Magna Cum Laude, Jasmine Sinclair Tapper, <laughs> Helena Laco Teclu, Ramario Colin Thompson, Danielle Daniel Hunter Tolbert, Daniel Morgan Trust, Christopher Michael Turner, Bryce Daniel Vestal, Megan Louise Villeman, Sarah Catherine Waldrup, Deborah Marie Walker, Magna Cum Laude, Shayla Nicole Warren, Gregory Sharp Washington, Kennedy Sierra Marie Washington, Ian Michael Waters, Mary Gracelyn Weed, Tiffany Ann Wilkerson, Alicia Marie Williams, Cum Laude, Garrett Elijah Williams, Anastasia Danae Winfield, Cum Laude, Tarna Xander Veloso, Summa Cum Laude, Madison Kathleen Zagans, Magna Cum Laude and University Honors. The College of Liberal Arts Bachelor of Fine Arts, Stephanie Lee Daub, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and Summa Cum Laude. The College of Liberal Arts Bachelor of Science, Omoyafe Georgina Ijoma Argabur, Farah Walid Aladwani, Haley Ann Allen, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors. Nova Alam, Alexis Taipei Albert, also receiving Bachelor of Arts. Christopher Bruce Allen, Jr., Summa Cum Laude. Sierra Elise Alvis. Yezin Musa Awawe. Magna Cum Laude, Neil Rajesh Andaria, 
summa cum laude, Abhishek Vinayak Anugandal, Adremi Christian Awe, Chelsea Autumn Bailey, Namdi Shakir Baker, Arjun Sanjay Bakshi, summa cum laude, Joshua Brent Barger, summa cum laude, Mary Catherine Barnes, cum laude, Abigail Jane Belmer, Capsa Gula Benyella, Austin Hunter Bennett, cum laude, Tristan Julian Bennett, cum laude, Brennan Steele Bogdanovich, summa cum laude, Brandon David Bowker, Alika Shanaz Broner, cum laude, Taylor Rose Brooks, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, and summa cum laude. Andrew Martin Castaneda, Mary Catherine Bird, Kiki Calloway, Jeremy Andrew Carter, Sally Cho, Jordan Noel Christensen, Yannette Paz Clark, Magna Cum Laude, Pascal Stephen Coombs, Anna Marie Deutsch, Shivani Deer, Nigel D'Souza, Magna Cum Laude, Alex Peter Dubinsky, Alexis McKenna Dudenheffer, Kaylin Morgan Dyer, summa cum laude and university honors. Preston Hayes Earl, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and summa cum laude. Catherine Michaela Ellis. Peyton Farah Erb. Fatima Esmael. Nathan Alex Falls, Caitlin Lee Falk, Kelby Morgan Flunoy, University Honors, Lauren Michelle Fowler, cum laude, John Matthew Franco, University Honors, Alexandra Kristen Futterer, cum laude, Megan June Gaddis, magna cum laude, Elizabeth Holland Giddens, Mark Anthony Gomes, cum laude, Yu Gu, Berani Gutla, Hannah Caroline Gully, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and cum laude, Kelly Elizabeth Haggerty, Matthew Evan Halbert, magna cum laude, Melody Balatia Hancock, Caitlin Nicole Hanna, Kazi Mamudul Hassan, Ansley Jordan Hayes, Magna Cum Laude, Elijah James Henderson, Lillian Perry Hicks, Magna Cum Laude and University Honors, Megan Lee Hinkle, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors. Jenny Kim Ho. DJ Alexis Hughes. Jonathan Tron Hun. Zain Mohammed Ismail. Kayla Simone Johnson. Gabriel Thomas Jones. Ryan William Jones. Shilpa V. Jose, cum laude. Gisa Johnny Joseph, magna cum laude and university honors. Catherine Isabella Jocelyn, university honors. Camille Lauren Karen. Saheed Kibi. Adam Pearson Landon. 
Fuck Wang Vin Lee, cum laude. Alexis Ruth Lott. Victoria Ann Loveless, cum laude. Johnny Vittorio Martino. Whitney Marie Masick, magna cum laude and university honors. Taylor Nicole Mathis, summa cum laude. Elena Joy Matthews, cum laude. Ryan Iverson May, cum laude. Hadley Rianne McMartin, McCartan, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude and university honors. Mary Caroline McGill. Claudia Faith McMeekin, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and magna cum laude and university honors. John David McPherson. Jarrett Christopher Melnick. Gabriella Eileen Miller. Keegan Hudson Moody, magna cum laude. Win Tran Hong Win. Zola Camille Norman, cum laude. Madison Marie Norris, cum laude. Chidi Victoria Ojukwu, magna cum laude and university honors. Amari Janae Oliver. Charisma Chiamaka Aswagwu. Carson Renee Outler. Summa cum laude and university honors. Rachel Lorraine Owens. Arju Ashok Patel, cum laude. Hiral M. Patel. Kajal Bavik Patel, cum laude. Kanishka Pratish Patel. Part Haresh Patel, cum laude. Raj Yogesh Patel. Summa cum laude. Ria Dinesh Patel, summa cum laude. Shiv Pankajumar Patel. Rebecca Nicole Paul, also receiving Bachelor of Arts. Bianca Isabel Perez, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, cum laude, and University Honors. Tashay Shawan Perry, Catherine Helen Peterson, Mayana Marcel Petty, cum laude, Olivia Michelle Pizzini, magna cum laude, James Michael Pollock III, summa cum laude, Catherine Renee Poten, magna cum laude, Nicholas Joshua Price, Brianne Carmel Prophet, Supreet Kaur Reina, Melanie Lynn Rigsby, Elizabeth Reese Robinson, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and summa cum laude and university honors. Hannah Lane Robinson, magna cum laude. Linnea Rosendahl, Arjit Satsena, Dylan Howell Scott, summa cum laude, Ashna Sundip Shah, summa cum laude, Preston Kelsey Shankle, Barut Sharma, magna cum laude, Thomas Grant Shelton, summa cum laude, Winter Alim Silton, cum laude. Joshua Curry Sizemore. Margaret Ann Slajewski, magna cum laude. Caroline Elizabeth Smith, magna cum laude. Tayana Sunisa Smith. Emily Elizabeth Sokol, summa cum laude and university honors. James Lawrence Stair, Jr., also receiving Bachelor of Arts and magna cum laude and university honors. Dianera Marquell Stewart. Randesha Marquell Stewart. 
Brianna Elizabeth Stone, also receiving Bachelor of Arts. Joshua Jacob Story. Isabella Gabriela Sullivan, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, magna cum laude, and university honors. Jessica Lynn Summer, summa cum laude. Heather Leanne Swan, magna cum laude. Deline Natasha Taylor, summa cum laude. Brian Anthony Tirado, summa cum laude. Saker Tomala. Anessa Nicole Turner. Amy Elizabeth Varghese, summa cum laude and university honors. Long Tan Fu, cum laude. Thomas McCarthy Wallace III. Kennedy Elise Wesley, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and cum laude. Carrie Lee Wheelis. Catherine Grace Wichner. Witcher. Erica Wong, also receiving Bachelor of Arts. Skylar Gabrielle Woodward, Woodard. Tedros Merit Uhala. Sophonius Yeshwandem Yelma. Nali <coughs> excuse me. Nalina Simone Young, cum laude. Zachary Robert Zeisler, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and summa cum laude and university honors. Losing my place. Okay, let's get back to work here. College of Liberal Arts, Bachelor of Science in Health Science. Kenny Ngo. Ruchi Chaitan Shah, magna cum laude. Yuen M. Vo, summa cum laude. And then we have a break in the action. Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics, Bachelor of Arts, Charles Dawson Ellis. Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics, Bachelor of Business Administration, Daniela Acosta Hernandez, summa cum laude. Noel Hania Alami. Marissa Marie Beaton, summa cum laude. Jamie Elizabeth Benson, cum laude. Kyle Stephen Bialish, cum laude. Joseph Connor Blankenship. Tyler James Bordeaux, magna cum laude. Mark Aaron Boland. Ashlyn Caroline Bradshaw, summa cum laude and university honors. Keo Patrick Brennan, Hudson William Brett, Edward Jack Bridgewater, Thomas Paul Bridgewater, magna cum laude and university honors, Ellen Cynthia Cape, cum laude, Karina Isabel Castillo, Christy Elizabeth Cesarini, cum laude, Panchai Tham Chantha, summa cum laude. Maya Onye Cheatham, cum laude. Royce Hamilton Clark, magna cum laude. Leah Danielle Cochran. Willie Abraham Conaway. Kevin Franklin Coulter. Ethan Alex Kramer. 
Grant Christian Denton, summa cum laude. Madison Tate Derrick. Morgan Hunter Doty, summa cum laude. Kristen Ann Duncan. Jabril Moses Edmondson, magna cum laude. Jackson C. Egan, cum laude. Marissa Kim Enlow. Bryce Everett, magna cum laude. Thomas Cameron Fannin. Coleman Thomas Fisher, magna cum laude. Azam Ahmed Gadi. Kendall Bailey Garrett, summa cum laude. Deshaun Alexander Gilchrist. Anna Claire Gordon. Ian Sebastian Gote, cum laude. Alex J James Gandanetti. Savannah Danielle Grunhard, magna cum laude. Fernando Guardia, cum laude. Nicholas Matthew Guillen, magna cum laude. Rebecca Sarah Hale, cum laude. Devin Michael Hall, cum laude. Casey Jenna Harrell, cum laude. Alicia Ann Mikowski Hartley, cum laude. Catherine Lee Head, summa cum laude. Myers Albert Hines. Marquise Marone Irvin. Eric Shondo Jackson. Mary Augusta Janaga. Emmett Osoze Johnson. Chelsea Elena Jones. Andrew David Kane, summa cum laude. Simran Koja, also receiving Bachelor of Arts and magna cum laude. Ye Di Kim, summa cum laude. Karina Katarina Kukunen, cum laude. Megan Renee Lane. Taylor Douglas Lobus. Safa Makbul. Emily Dal Morozik, cum laude. Jennifer Elise Mazurkowitz, magna cum laude. Sean Patrick McDermott II. James Wesley McManus. Jake Ernest Mazai. Brandon Chad Mincy, magna cum laude. John Owen Manazzi. Maxwell Andrew Miranda, summa cum laude. Arterius Marquand Mitchell, cum laude. Henry Francis Morgan. Alexander Joseph Morley. Peyton Drake Murphy. Donovan James. Stephen Joshua Nixon. Carrie Edmund Nussbaum. Jacob Austin Pate. Harsh Patel, cum laude. Megan Lee McGinty Patterson. Loy Philip Peppers. Kyle Rohan Philip. Bradley Vaughn Pierce, cum laude. McHenry John Power, cum laude. Timothy B. Torres. John Dan Rains, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Ethan Matthew Reeb. Nathan Michael Reem. Aaron Taylor Reeves, summa cum laude. John Harold Harry Rollins, Jr. Christina Maria Ruga, magna cum laude. Justin Robert Ripple. Katija Sazid. Selena Sheppers, summa cum laude. Douglas Stanton Shaw, Jr., cum laude. Jacqueline Lane Sevier, 
also receiving Bachelor of Arts. Shivani Sharma, cum laude and university honors. Basam Hassan Shauli. Rachel Noel Shepard, summa cum laude. Zachary Michael Smith. David Nicholas Spear. Emily Claire Stepp, cum laude. Luis Miguel Sucre. Anna Marie Summers. Madeline Petra Tauber, summa cum laude. Jacob Mark Thomas. Samantha O'Brien Thompson, summa cum laude and university honors. Hope Caroline Walker, summa cum laude. Jonathan Lewis Ward. Alec Masayoshi Watanabe. Andrew Kevin Wernz. Carl Daniel Westfall III. Emma Jane Williams. Spencer Kennedy Williams. Wyatt Samuel Young. The Eugene W. Stetson School of Business and Economics best Master of Business Administration. Tanya Yvette Adams. Klinisha Allen Anderson. Alex Terrell Bridge, Bridges, Milton Brown, Risa Diane Calzadilla, Brian Anthony Crump, Destiny Pearl Farmer, Danny Freeman Jr., Anthony Les Gazy, Sheila Louise Hodges, Lowell Loki Jones, Andrea C. Livingston, Emmanuel Luna Vasquez, Charles Christopher Lynch, Morgan Lee McGilvery, Jason Eric Morgan, Maya Marie Nichols, Babajide Obasanye Olobu, Heidi S. Park, Devante Armin Pinneman, Preston Hamilton Pittman, Regine Corres Richardson, Todd Michael Rissmiller, Jasmine Estrasia Robinson, Katrina Celeste Trimmins. Okay, we have the School of Engineering, Bachelor of Science. Sony Alexis Allen. James Michael Brunk. Stefan Alexander Brown. Tynesha Latrice Brown. Daryl Deontay Dunham Jr. Travante Otterin Easley. David Wesley Everman. Jared Timothy Geha, Camille Grant III, Rodney Ryan Lapinski, Mason Elliott Mitchell, Marlon Van Moody, Avery Dunbar Ward, Eric Christian Wilson, The School of Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Morgan Scott Adams, Ali Hassim Asharani, cum laude, Paige Alexandra Alston, cum laude, Natalie Marie Barker, Thomas Clark Barnett, Joseph Benjamin Bass, 
University Honors, Ryan Stanley Baskowski, Peng Yu Chen, Nicholas Dimitri Cordista, Magna Cum Laude, Adam, Cor Adam John Korn, Soma Cum Laude, Wang Kong Tu Do, Magna Cum Laude, Takeda Ariel Eastern, Forrest Elliott, Sean Edward Erickson, Rebecca Grace Etter, Summa Cum Laude, Michael Taylor e Ewing, Noah James Flippin, Karina Flores Medina, Esau Race Ford, William Blake Fox, Magna Cum Laude, Gregory Lee Gilbert, Summa Cum Laude, Zachary David Grantham, University Honors, Nathan Christopher Green, Summa Cum Laude, Bryce Tanner Grogan, Graham Doc Guthrie, Cum Laude, Miranda Hope Ham, Cum Laude, Colin Andrew Hamby, Summa Cum Laude, Matthew Thomas Hampton, Cum Laude, Marshall L. Hardin, Miles Chalmers Harris, Carrie Amanda Hickman, Magna Cum Laude, Christopher Michael Howard, Sam W. Johnston IV, Matthew Hunter King, Cum Laude, Dorian Tashean Kithcart, Cum Laude, Brennan Emmett Lambert, Brian Parker Lau, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors, Benjamin Joseph Leahy, Summa Cum Laude, Morgan Elizabeth Leslie, Cum Laude and University Honors, Sarah Elizabeth Littleton, Cum Laude and University Honors, Toby Michael Logan, Cum Laude, Nathan Ryan Lochner, Magna Cum Laude, Harold Benjamin Lowry, Mia Nicole Manto, Cum Laude, Daniel Alejandro Marcus Gonzalez, Jordan Lee Mark, Mark Brandon Matthews, Magna Cum Laude, Shauna Nicole Matson, Summa Cum Laude, Alexander Hayden Meyer, Christopher Paul Mileto, Magna Cum Laude, Annabeth Miller, Magna Cum Laude and University Honors, Daniel West Minch, Cum Laude, Juan Pablo Munoz, Cum Laude, Chukunatum Eleanor Wanzi, Summa Cum Laude, Gideon Ibukunulawo Roche Ojo, Cum Laude, Elizabeth Ruth Oliver, Magna Cum Laude, Samuel Philippe Oela, Cum Laude, Mark Nathaniel Palomares, Terry and Janae Parker, Ryan Michael Bernal Partolan, Mohini G. Patel, Ruth Rajesh Patel, Cum Laude, Sagar Gunshim Patel, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors, Stone Patrick Phillips, Cum Laude, Sean Chalamet Pitter, Cum Laude, David Alexander Pollock, Amanda Catherine Price, Magna Cum Laude, Sydney Michael Price, Summa Cum Laude, Christopher Devon Raffield, Cum Laude, Brian Ramirez, Nicholas Michael Reiner, Magna Cum Laude, Christian York Reynolds, Cum Laude, Nicholas Martin Ryan, Austin Brooks Samuelson, Magna Cum Laude, Olivia Blair Sass, Bryson Joseph Saunders, Summa Cum Laude, Connor Edward Schurig, 
Brooke Nicole Spies, Magna Cum Laude and University Honors. Michael Shannon Statham, Jr. Anna Elizabeth Stewart. Michael Surleyung Tan. Benjamin Orion Topner. James Cody Taylor. Amanda Danielle Thompson, summa cum laude and university honors. Alexis Trier Tillery. Denzel Chukwuka Udemba. Emily Rose Vaness, summa cum laude. Eric Milliken Vai. Shruti Vikroman, magna cum laude and university honors. James George Walker. Paul Windsor Whitehurst, Logan Kenneth Jackson Widener, cum magna cum laude, Joshua David Wilk, Connor Charles Wood, cum laude. The School of Engineering Master of Science, Patrick Michael Hobbs, Daniel Loring Maddox, Elizabeth Faith Patterson, Jordan Lee Sessoms, the School of Engineering, Master of Science in Engineering, Alexander Hart Armstrong, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Eduardo K. Bernoulli, Joshua Stephen Bilbrey, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Magna Cum Laude. Joseph Edwin Black, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Brandon Junghook Burr, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Trinity Marie Brown. Andrew Wachtwan Dang, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Paul Anthony DiCarlo, Jennifer Tran Duan, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Cum Laude, Eric Ryan Downham, Dylan R. Fowler, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Emily Marie Gallion, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Magna Cum Laude, Kennerly Nell Gordon, Matthew Kane Granger, Cody Thomas Greger, Tyson Bradley Grogan, Tyler Selden Hayslip, Alan David Howard Jr., Markel Devon Jackson, Jessica Ann Johnson, Andrew Jordan Kelly, Jonathan Scott Kenton, Jr. Kang Wen Li, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Cum Laude. John Mark Edward Lowry, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Cum Laude. Josephine Marie Mazurkovitz. Christopher Scott McCorkle II, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and summa cum laude and university honors. Megan Nicole McKinney. Robert Andrew Miller, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and magna cum laude. Soydan Wok Wo. Dharmesh Bipin Patel, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and magna cum laude. Daniel Stephen Poschel. Haley Iman Pounds, Zechariah David Rice, Harpal Singh Sagu, Niyani Danielle Sampson, Stephen Thomas Schroeder, Austin Carl Siegel, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering and Summa Cum Laude, Maximilian Suntok, also receiving Bachelor of Science in Engineering summa cum laude and university honors. Fiona Elizabeth Stockton, 
Darana Yasoda Bindara Weiwei Mudi Yase Lagi. The Tift College of Education, Bachelor of Science in Education, Jessica Quinn Ellis, Danielle Ann Faust, Summa Cum Laude, Glenetrius Lavette Francis, Elizabeth Hope Gibson, Magna Cum Laude, Kingsley Caroline Green, Cum Laude, Sarah Grace Hall, Summa Cum Laude and University Honors, Jenna Marie Head, also receiving Bachelor of Arts, summa cum laude. Anna Jacqueline Jones, summa cum laude. Articia Leneldra Knight. Samantha Ann McCarty. Haley Charlene McDuffie, summa cum laude. Madison Nicole McMillan. Catherine Elizabeth Cedor, summa cum laude. Caitlin Yvonne Turner, summa cum laude. Sarah Michelle Waldrop, summa cum laude. Alexis Michelle Welch, cum laude. Lauren Francis Woods, magna cum laude and university honors. The Tift College of Education, Master of Arts in Teaching. Krista Marguerite Buchanan, Lorenzo Zachary Harmon, Tyrone Marcel Hendricks, Leah Margaret Leonard, Danielle, excuse me, Daniel Joseph Snyder, Monica Faith Stanwick, Sarah Christine Stewart, Natalia Danielle Williams. The Tift College of Education, Master of Education, Deidre Denise Bold, Erin Nicole Horn, Andrelia Simone Moody, Ladan, Mo Ladan Molid, Wendy Lynn Rotenhofer, Emma Tatum Stich, Penfield College, the Bachelor of Arts, Catherine Carswell Applin, Varian Torrance Castello, Magna Cum Laude, Lashana Denise Howard, Summa Cum Laude, Kirsty Nicole Patrick, Penfield College, the Bachelor of Science. Kelly Alicia Burns, Tamika Latonia Chambliss, Lacey Brooke Harville Cruz, Cum Laude, Yvonne Colette Frazier, Velveeta Nawab Gooch, Christopher Allen Land, Nancy Lorene Sanford, Salida Shandali Smith, Pakia Wilson. Wait a second. Penfield College, Bachelor of Applied Science. Alfred Eric Cornelius, cum laude.
Penfield College, the Bachelor of Science in Social Science. Vanretta Denise Freeman, cum laude. Sierra N. King. Penfield College, the Master of Science, Renee Therese Boudreaux. Kimberly, May, Kimberly K. Meeks. Marley Monet Morales. The Townsend School of Music, Bachelor of Arts, Nathan Wesley Holmes, James Thomas Ruffin, Kyle David Wagner, Magna Cum Laude. The Townsend School of Music, Bachelor of Music, Keone Porter Balding. Tiani Grace Butts, cum laude. Michael Chong, cum laude. Blanks, Banks Plunkett Daniels, cum laude. Timothy Raymond Jones, cum laude. Carissa Rania Lung, summa cum laude. Atticus Samuel Meller Goldman. Lucas Charles Schrout, summa cum laude. Julia Kieran Swain, cum laude. Joel Michael Turning, summa cum laude. Second. Little bottleneck. Okay. The Townsend School of Music, Bachelor of Music Education. Adele Marion Bauman, summa cum laude. Joseph Braden Hutchison, magna cum laude. Krista Lauren Terrio, summa cum laude. Rebecca Francis Wisner. The Townsend School of Music, Master of Music, Canon Alexander McLean. Victoria Grace Irizari. The College of Health Professions, Bachelor of Science. Kalkidan Abona. Ronald Varnach Eikhoff. Allison Renee Bueller, also receiving Bachelor of Business Administration. Clarissa Imani Cole. Doris Alexis Cujo, cum laude. Nicole Alexandra Montalvo, cum laude. Blossom Adalgo Onunaku, magna cum laude. Margaret Lynn Royacres. Rachel Marie Self. Mira Shah, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Omalora Shoaga, cum laude. Stanley. Eugene Smith III, Dominic Alexander St. Cyr, Elizabeth Kylie Stewart, and I have in my hand the name of the last student graduating from Mercer University in the year 2019, and that is Alexandra D. Zalea.
All right, let's, uh, let's now congratulate the class of 2019. Congratulations, you all. I now invite John Patterson, who serves as Senior Vice President for University Advancement, to come forward to welcome our new graduates as alumni of the university. Good morning. On behalf of the Office of Alumni Services and University Advancement, it is my great pleasure to congratulate you for your achievements which have led to this day. You're joining a prestigious group of alumni and mentors and leaders and advocates who serve in 50 states and over foreign, 50 foreign countries. I challenge each of you to uphold this proud legacy of excellence and strengthen it by the many contributions that you will make to your communities where you serve. It is my honor now to induct each of you as members of the Alumni Association with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities which accompany this membership. I encourage you to stay connected to Mercer by attending alumni events in your respective communities, returning to Mercer for homecoming celebrations, and staying connected with us through our various social media sites. I especially challenge you to take every opportunity to share your Mercer experiences with others, encouraging families, friends, and coworkers to join you in pursuing their educational endeavors at Mercer as well. It is indeed my honor to welcome you as the newest members of the Mercer University Alumni Association. Congratulations. Thanks, John. I now ask Dr. Stanley Roberts, the Arthur Lownis Rich Professor of Choral Conducting and Associate Dean in the Townsend School of Music and graduate of the class of 1984, to lead us in singing the alma mater, which you'll find printed on page 47 of the program. Afterwards, Dr. Craig McMahon will pronounce the benediction, and following the benediction, please remain in place until the student recessional is completed. Would you all stand? All right, I need to sing, everyone sing very loudly. F sharp major, you ready? On the city's western border, read against the sky. Proudly stands our alma mater as the years roll by. Forward ever be thy watchword, conquer and prevail. Hail to thee. Mercer, hail, oh hail, cherished by thy sons and daughters, to memory sweet shall throng. Around our hearts, O oh, alma mater, as we sing our song, forward ever be thy watchword, conquer and prevail. Hail to thee, O alma mater, mercy, hail, all hail. If you would, let's pray together. O oh Lord, our first words to you this morning were of gratitude. And now we offer this prayer of blessing, asking that your goodness and your grace and your mercy follow these students as they leave this place. We do not ask that you make their path easy, but lead them into the difficult places, the challenging places, 
where all that they have learned and all that they have become will be enough to bring hope and healing, comfort and encouragement, vision and new discovery. We ask that you give them wisdom to know what is right, courage to do what is right, and faith to keep doing what is right, even when it's not easy. Bless them now, send them into the world, and may they always be the bear. Amen.